Welcome back to Landmarks Discovered. In this episode, we'll take you to one of the most iconic places in Palm Beach, the original Villas on Worth Avenue. Heritage Ed really focuses on teaching the built environment to the fourth graders here in Palm Beach County. And as part of that experience, they get to go to Worth Avenue on a walking tour, and it really brings what we learn in the classroom to life. It does, and I think that the vias themselves are such an amazing vehicle for education and preservation in that it's an immersive experience to walk through them. It's, you know, not all of Meisner's work is accessible to the public, but these are incredible spaces that anyone can enjoy. And that's one of the things that I think makes them so unique and so important to the town. Via Meisner and Via Parigi are located at the west end of Worth Avenue, directly across the street from the Everglades Club. The construction of these two mini developments on Worth Avenue were really the impetus of cementing Worth Avenue as a shopping destination, one of the leading in the world, and also really cemented the Mediterranean Revival style as the iconic architectural style of the island. And when you walk around the Villas, you can really see Meisner's vision of wanting to recreate a Spanish castle and this idea that they had all these tiny rooms that held the army. And this idea that when the army was no longer needed, these openings turned into stores with meandering hallways and people could just go in and out of them. I think what's also really unique about the Villas themselves is it gives the impression that it evolved over time and that these are individual buildings that um, are perhaps reflective of different periods. But in fact, they were all designed at once and constructed at the same time. Yes, so he started on Via Meisner in 1923 and then continued with Via Parigi the next year in 1924. And they really relate to each other. And it's interesting too, because Via Meisner was really built for Addison Meisner and it holds his home in his office. And then he ended up building Via Parigi for Paris Singer, his benefactor here in Palm Beach. Before Meisner landed in Palm Beach, he really traveled the world. And he had that opportunity to study so many different architectural styles that when he came here, he had a blank slate to bring those architectural styles together to create what we know as a Mediterranean Revival style here in Palm Beach. Addison Meisner lived and worked in Villa Meisner, so he really utilized the spaces in Villa Meisner to showcase his products from his Los Manos tile factory, which not only had interiors, but also the building materials such as the roof tiles and raw iron and cast stone decorative details. So in addition to having residential apartments above and stores that you know members of the Everglades Club could patron, we can also see that you know Via Meisner was very much operating as a showroom, an outdoor showroom in many ways for Meisner, and was the location where the building trades would procure a lot of these materials that they used to proliferate the Mediterranean Revival style. And everything that you read about Addison Meisner, his personality really comes through. And everything that he designed is really a reflection of how he saw the world. 
there are stories that accompany almost every building that he designed, and we know that he was a great storyteller. And Rick Rose, who we had an opportunity to sit down with for this episode, certainly carries on that tradition of storytelling in relation to Addison Meisner, and does so through the tours that he provides on Worth Avenue. When I became uh, the understudy here on Worth Avenue uh, for Jim Ponce, it kind of was a natural fit because I was already talking about the avenue and that, of course, being Jim's understudy for so many years before he retired really set me up to be able to take over the tours uh, when the association asked me about eight years ago now. And one of the great things of being the historian for the Worth Avenue Association is that I get to share the stories of Worth Avenue with new generations of people who are discovering Worth Avenue as something truly unique. So I think what makes Worth Avenue so historically significant are three areas, and one would be architecture. Um, obviously, it's where Mediterranean Revival had its rebirth during the modern time, of course, with the building of the Everglades Club. The demand that created for that architectural style, it just became so popular during the Roaring Twenties. The second reason would be fashion. So a lot of fashion history was made here in Worth Avenue. Many designers launched their careers here or became famous here in the past and still during the present today. And then the third reason why Worth Avenue is so historically significant are all of the interesting stories of the people who have lived here, worked here, and shopped here over the last 100 years. Palm Beach quickly became known as the party destination, um, and the Everglades Club helped um, personify that with their incredible balls that they had here in the 1920s, during the Roaring Twenties. They had many uh, fundraisers for, uh, for example, Good Samaritan Hospital. So many of the events taking place and the parties at the Everglades Club were actually benefits for, the, for Good Samaritan Hospital. When the Everglades Club opened in January of 1919, it was a huge success. Um, and, uh, but of course, at that time, Worth Avenue was basically the club. You know, it was a dirt road up until that time, so there wasn't a whole lot here. Um, so shortly after the success of the opening of the Everglades Club, Singer and Meisner realized they needed to create an infrastructure around the club, uh, an area where their members could promenade, see each other, um, perhaps go shopping. And so they designed uh, Via Parigi and Via Meisner in the early 1920s which were, of course, originally designed as mixed use. So you know, many people say that mixed use is something that's new in the recent uh, times, but in fact, this area of Worth Avenue, in particular Via, Marie, uh, Via Parisi and Via Meisner, are, uh, were always mixed use. So that where uh, the shopkeepers could open their shops below during the season and live in the apartments above. It's actually trying to harken back to a romantic era and feel in the Mediterranean, and I think he successfully you know, did that, in particular in the buildings that Meisner worked on. And Worth Avenue in general has continued with that tradition, certainly eclectic. Um, for me, Mediterranean revival in Florida is it's eclecticism. It's, it's the eclecticism of Mediterranean styles. That's the unique aspect of our uh, architectural style here. So it's not any one particular era from the Mediterranean that's prominent or dominant. It's a, a mixture uh, of different styles around the Mediterranean. Addison Meisner was quite a character. Um, already when his parents sent him off to study at the University of Salamanca in Spain after the first semester he was kicked off the campus because he uh, insulted women by telling them jokes which were considered inappropriate at that time. Um, he was really the life of every party he went to and he became famous for his one-line jokes or anecdotes uh, over time. He was a real bon vivant. And, uh, but in particular, his time here in Palm Beach, he met a lot of influential folks. And at some point, you know, when you would have, when he became the architect here of choice in Palm Beach, 
when a, a, a journalist would be down here in Palm Beach talking about, for example, the next house that was being built for who knows the Vanderbilts or whoever, some captain of industry, they would invariably want to talk to the architect. Of course, can you imagine when the architect walks into the journalist for the interview and he's got a monkey on his shoulder and he's wearing these bright outfits, the whole shift of the article went away from the house that he was building and it became more about him. And then you can imagine when that journalist returned back up to Pittsburgh or Philadelphia and he was showing the editor which photos would be included in the article, which photos do you think were chosen? They were the photos invariably of Addison Meisner and that monkey. And so that led to a type of fame over time. One of the interesting stories of Via Meisner is the story, of course, Addison Meisner and his um, pet uh, Johnny Brown. Now a lot of people don't realize that Meisner had many pets over his entire lifespan and during the time of Johnny Brown, Johnny Brown was not his only pet monkey. He had many pets. He had a pet menagerie uh, and uh, so when um, Addison Meisner was in residence at his home at Via Meisner he supposedly had a cocktail party every single night that he was there, between six and eight. And visitors, prominent visitors coming to Palm Beach all wanted to go uh, uh, to those cocktail parties because they would invariably meet other interesting visitors who were in town. It was a very progressive, creative group uh, going to Addison Meisner's uh, apartment, his home here on um, Worth Avenue. Uh, and of course they all wanted to see Johnny Brown because Johnny Brown had become a bit of celebrity. Um, he supposedly saved v Villa Meisner from a fire. While Meisner wasn't in house, um, you can look up newspaper clippings now from that era uh, where um, all across the country it made national headline news when Johnny Brown rung, uh, sounded the alarm when a fire broke out in the kitchen. So the fire brigade got here on time to save Villa Meisner. But for many other reasons, um, I think Johnny Brown was famous because wherever Meisner went uh, to cocktail parties, he typically took Johnny Brown with him. So if a hostess was hosting him for a dinner party, they had to have something to eat for <laughs> Johnny Brown. When Johnny Brown died in 1927, he was quite a celebrity. He was part of the fame of Addison Meisner. In any case, it made national headline news. And then when he was buried in uh, Via Meisner, where, um, of course, near to where uh, Pizza Al Fresco is here, it became a tourist attraction immediately from 1927 onward. So that's certainly an important spot to check out when you're visiting Palm Beach is to go see Johnny Brown's grave. If you'd like to learn more about Rick's walking tours of Worth Avenue, check out the Worth Avenue Association's website, worth-avenue.com. Thanks for joining us for Landmarks Discovered. In our next episode, we'll honor the 100th anniversary of one of Palm Beach's oldest institutions, Palm Beach Day Academy. I hope you'll join us.